Hey guys, my name is Jason Hernandez and today we will be exploring what is left of former Texan best theme park, Acarena Springs. Known for being the only theme park to have had a submarine theater, diving pigs, and Six Flags-like attractions. This theme park was active from the 1960s all the way to 1994 with the sale of Acarena Springs to Southwest Texas State University. Under the Southwest Texas State University management, the park took a dramatic transition from a theme park to an important center of environmental education, research, and preservation. First up, we have what is left of the Merriman Cabin. This cabin was the first house in San Marcos, Texas, and it was constructed in the 1840s for Dr. L.E.T. Merriman and his family. Next in line, we have the Spanish Mission. In 1743, Spanish explorers stumbled upon the bubbling springs that Acarina would later call home. Because it was St. Mark's Day, Franciscan monks called the river San Marcos. The monks established San Xavier Mission in the Presidio of San Francisco Xavier in 1755. The reconstruction of the mission's bell tower and the original site in the gardens allowed for Acarina visitors to travel back 200 years as they entered the mission's cool interior. If you look forward, you will see what is left of the Giro Tower, which was named Sky Spiral and opened in 1979. The donut-shaped cabin encircled the tube and revolved up and down so the tourists could see in all directions without moving about the cabin. From the top of the tower, in addition to the city of San Marcos, visitors had a spectacular view of the Balcones Fault, Devil's Backbone, and the San Marcos and Blanco Rivers. If you look forward, you will see recurring glass bottom boats that run through all year. Now, if you shift your attention towards the back, you will see the Mexican team Casa de Papel, a market that used to offer visitors an authentic bit of old Mexico with handcraft artifacts and gifts from south of the border. Adjacent to the structure was an open air Mexican market. When Casa de Papel opened, an artisan was brought in from Mexico to make beautiful handcraft paper flowers that were truly works of art. After serving as a Mexican market for several years, the building was later occupied by a craftsman named John Medford, who created and sold stained glass works of arts in this space. Lastly, I would like to thank the Metal Center for allowing us to record this. Thank you guys. See you guys next time.